On Larry King Now, Oscar-nominated director and Empire creator Lee Daniels. All I'm here to do is to make you feel. You know, I'm not a politician. I'm not a philosopher. I'm a filmmaker. And I don't pretend to be anything else. But I think that I'm misunderstood in that. You know, I think that people think that, uh, you know, that I'm this sellout. And, uh... Sellout? I don't know. black America? Maybe. I don't know. Does that bother you? No. No, no, no. No, because I know the truth. The minute that you're in it for the awards, you're lost. And for those that, you know, say, you know, we need awards, I say, you know, F you. Plus, why do you do shows on network TV? That's where the money is, right? <laughs> Larry, you ain't Why don't no you good. go or go to BE? Larry, you ain't no good. I think that I'm able to I'm able to hit you home with some stuff that you ain't ever seen before. I'm able to give a voice to people that you don't hear and a face to people that you don't see. So all next on Larry King Now. Welcome to Larry King Now, a return visit with Lee Daniels, one of my favorite people. <laughs> the award-winning, Oscar-nominated director, writer, and producer. Director of such indelible movies like Precious and The Butler. Lee is also, of course, the creator of the Fox mega-hit series, Empire. His newest show is Star. It's about a girl group trying to make it in the music business. Star premiered on December 14th and airs Wednesdays at 9 p.m., 8 central, on Fox. Welcome back. Hello, sir. Hello, Lee. Hello, Larry. Star is off to great readings. Did you expect that? Mm, I never expect. As a matter of fact, I, you know, if you do, then you get your feelings hurt. So you don't. Do you base everything on Empire? I mean, Empire's been such an enormous hit. Mm. The star have to be Empire. I mean, look, you want that thing again you feel it so you it's it, I would be lying to you to tell you that I don't want it but um, I'm okay I, I I don't I don't expect any of my films or any of my TV shows or anything that I, I know do. I told you I thought the butler should have won everything thank you didn't you. even get nominated thank you thank you that had to feel, make you feel bad I know you didn't do it to make awards but you had to feel bad yeah uh, shunned no I felt uh, that I had to go on and do greater things and really? That, and that was Empire. Yeah, Empire followed Butler. Yeah. I mean, I had to, I mean, you know, you don't, you, the minute that you're in it for the awards, you're lost. And for those that, you know, say, you know, we need awards, I say, you know, F you. You said of Star, I don't think we're prepared for the price of fame. What, what did you mean? I wasn't. I wasn't. You know, I'm still, I'm still dealing with it. You know, I hear these sound bites that I say, and then I go, oh, who cares I said that? And then you realize, you know, oh wow, I guess that's the price for fame. So, you know, you I get think in trouble for what you say? Most times. Because you're honest. I think. So people want people to be honest, and then they get in trouble for being honest. Praise Jesus. But you know one thing? <laughs> Speaking of, if they said, if they came for him, if they came for him, they can come for anybody. And certainly me. All right, now, Star, your main character, is yeah. white. Yeah. Well, she's not the main character. But she's the, she's, her name is Star. Her name is Star, but the show is called, and the sh it's, I know, the show's called Star, but it's about stardom, and it's about three stars. Except but the she white happens, girl's name the, Star. The white girl's name Star, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. and you have a white girl with two black girls, right? No. I have a white girl. Let me tell you about the show. All right, tell me about the show. I, uh, when my son... Um, Taraji uh, and and Terrence both we all have kids the same age, and we start worrying. They were your niece and nephew, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember? Good. Um, um, turned nineteen. I knew that there there was something. I don't know whether it was clairvoyant. I don't know what it was, but I knew that we were going into the brink of a civil war. I believed it. I, I, something in my spirit told me. So, yeah, I love Dream Girls. I love Valley of the Dolls. Those are all sort of like they were in my head as I was um, creating the show. But I wanted to, and I'm getting in trouble for this, for using the word heal America with a white girl. No, that was not the case. Mm. She happens to be white. And there's two black girls working and with her. And there's her sister who is half black right. and half white. And there is this very, and they're poor. 
And then there's this very rich girl who is black, and there's a transgender. And we're there's all... There's four in the act? Well, there are three in the act, but there's the transgender that's there, held by the brilliant Queen Latifah, who plays the mother hen of them all. So well, it's she's a... like the manager of the group? No, Benjamin Bratt plays the manager. She's oh, the mother him. hen. Yeah, isn't he great? Oh. He's the best. Our numbers are great. We're doing incredible. I'm really happy. Um, I'm in a good place. But I think that I'm misunderstood in that, you know, I think that people think that, uh, you know, that I'm this sellout. And, uh... Sellout? I don't to know. black America? Maybe. I don't know. Does that bother you? No. No, no, no. No, because I know the truth. Me and my God knows the truth. Um, I think it, it bothers me because my, uh... Why are we talking about this? <laughs> well, you're, here, you're here to promote Star, Look, and we're I talking think, about Star. I know, we're talking about Star. You've got me Wait, intrigued to I, watch it. I think, oh, oh, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Oh, I love, I love Queen. Love I love, yeah, I you love gonna Benjamin. Love it. You're going to love, love it. These girls are unbelievable. But, um, mm, you know, I'm Teflon. I'm good. Uh, I'm, um, you can't hurt my feelings. I, you hurt my feelings when, you, when my kids are asking me now, who are 21, um... Are you okay? I go, what do you mean? I'm okay. Are you okay? And I think, oh, they're not okay because they think that I'm not okay. That hurts me. Well, it, well are there any leaders in the black community criticizing you for having a white? No. no? Mm -hmm. So why, what are the kids? I don't know these stupid blogs that my kids send me. Why do they send it to me? A blog? Who cares about a blog? I know exactly. Moving on. Can we? I don't on? read blogs. <laughs> why would I read a blog? Who do? If I? your kids send it to you, you would. They don't send it to me. Yeah, they well, you got good kids. Why do you do shows on network TV? That's where the money is, right? <laughs> <laughs> Larry, you ain't Why don't no you good. Go, well, go to BET? Larry, you ain't no good. You ain't no good. I'm a Jew searching for the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't no good. Uh... I think that you hit more people. I think you hit more masses. I think that I'm able to I'm able to hit you home with some stuff that you ain't ever seen before. I'm able to give a voice to people that you don't hear and a face to people that you don't see. And I think that uh, the more eyes I get on that and the more stories I'm able to tell about people that uh, you only hear about but you don't know and you fall in love with these people, I think that's why I'm on. And in particular, Fox, because I think that I think that they have been able to creatively give me, of the networks, what it is that I want. Uh, you know, they've, they've really been good to me. That's good to hear, because mm -hmm. Fox gets a bad rap. I stuff. do get a bad rap. And sometimes I could kill them, but, you know, for the most part, they've given me what it is that I want. They tell me, they let me tell the story that I want. Our guest is the unstoppable Lee Daniels, major in film and television. We're discussing politics after the break. He might have some opinions there. He's been known to express some opinions <laughs> in the past. Stay with the stars on Fox. We'll be right back. We're back with Lee Daniels, the amazing Lee Daniels, a great director, one of the most creative people in the business. You deal with topics still mostly taboo. In hip-hop, mental illness, you deal with homosexuality. Has Empire had an effect? Do, 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 do. Has Empire had an effect on the hip-hop world? I think so. I hope so. I think that uh, it's, it's uh, broadened and uh, uh, made gays okay. I mean, you know, look, I don't think that... I, don't, I think that there's going to be a certain amount of homophobia regardless, period. People are going to hate me because I am who I am. And I don't care who I am. That's I don't care that you, excuse me, I don't care that you care who I am. I don't care who, I care who you are as a person. I know. <laughs> and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. But why is there so much, I remember this was years ago, in Miami, they had a law about gays. It was mm -hmm. really restrictive to yeah. housing and everything. Yeah. And the black community mm -hmm. favored that law 98%. And I would have guests on, mm -hmm. leaders in the black mm -hmm. community, who didn't want to be compared to that, that the gays are civil rights like they are. Yeah. How do you explain that? I, I think that it's a constant struggle and it's a constant battle. And it's uh, one that, uh, look, it's easy to be. I could, I could pull this off in a minute. I could, you know, throw on my, on, on my, on my straight boy swag and fool anybody. But to live in my skin and to tell the truth is the most important thing on earth. To me, 
you know. What do you make of what's going on politically now in the country? A mess. A mess, you know. Are you worried? I was, I am, I am. But I haven't been watching the news. Uh, you know, I haven't been, I turned off the news. Uh, um, uh, I just stopped turning off, I turned off everything uh, after, after she lost. I was out in the streets working hard, you know, we were, um, you did a commercial really for her, didn't you? Did a PSA. Yeah. Uh, and then we did a... And then I went to the DMC uh, to speak. And then I um, spent, you know, my work hours uh, working on um, Star. And then on the weekend, I would go into the places where I grew up at to get people to come out to vote. So it was a very distant... It was It was very, uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm still recovering from... I'm, I'm recovering from it all. The election night was a bad night for you. Yeah, it was a bad night, but I think some of my best work came from that. I I, I, wrote, I, I went in deep with that, you know. Really? Yeah, man, I went in deep. I, I came up with some great, great, great moments because of that. So if anything, I have, I, get, I think the only gift that he gave me was to uh, use my head more and 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 to use my brain and and, and my and my writing skills. More. You think Obama will be remembered well? I think so. Of course. Yeah. I think so, too. You do television and you do big screen movies. Mm. Are you happy with both? Mm. Is both still the same? I mean, it's just a film. I think television, that, you got to have it done by a certain time. Yeah, that's the only thing. Television's like, bam, bam, bam. It's a machine, you know? Um, films, uh, you know, films you're, you're able to tweak and have fun with. Um, you know, I miss movies. I haven't done a movie in a while. I've done movies since The Butler. I've been, you know, I went from... Uh, Empire to star, so I miss movies. But uh, yeah, I, I, but there's a certain enjoyment of knowing that uh, your words are hitting more people than they would through film. There, there, there's there, there's something that's okay. Wow, I'm able to teach you this thought that's in my head. So I'm, I'm, that, you know, that I'm able to bring, and that Danny and I were able to bring Cookie to the world. That excite, that makes me happy. That makes me happy. It makes my mom happy. Why did you choose the profession you chose? You know, I come from a family of uh, drug dealers. I come from the streets. And uh, I had seven- Where'd you grow up? West Philly. And um, I uh, had a choice. Uh, I, I went to college for a little bit and uh, I had to split. And I had seven, I went on the bus to Hollywood at $7. Seven dollars. Uh, mm -hmm. I was homeless for a while. In, homeless. I'm living in the back of a church, <laughs> and uh, got to Hollywood and then started directing theater, and realized I didn't know what I was doing then because it was pre Spike Lee and post the black exploitation era. So it was like what you know, there were no like um, people that I could look up to that were doing that. What was your and break? I wasn't smart, huh? What was your break? Well, I was managing actors. The hustle came in, you know? The, uh, I went from theater to finding work for those actors that couldn't um, find jobs because they were African-American. And so we, we, we split, we, we, uh, I ended up uh, managing those actors. And, um, but what got you into direct, what was your first big director? Well, I knew that I was, I knew I was a director when I read, I was, I forget how old I was, five or six or seven or eight, and I had to, I went to the public library and bought Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf by Edward Albee. I took that book home, and on my stoop, I had all my neighbors watching the uh, reading Martha and George. And uh, I knew then I didn't I, I didn't know I know I know it was directing, but it was it was that. So. What was the first thing you directed that got noticed? Uh, the first thing I directed that got noticed was a uh, uh, one act a one act. Really? Yeah, that was one act. That was really More on Empire after the break, as well as the Oscars so white controversy. We'll be right back. We're back with Lee Daniels. Star is on Fox Wednesdays at 9, 8 central. See it. You won't believe it. See it. You won't believe it's it. Good. Star, he breaks <laughs> through the racial barriers. He breaks through everything. The man is, we're interviewing a star about star. Concerning Empire, you said last year, yeah. I'm surprised the show is even on the air. You got me, you got Taraj, you got Terrence Howard. All three of us are batshit crazy. <laughs> are you really surprised it's on the air? Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I do. When you pitched it, I, what uh, was the reaction? They loved it. They did? Because the, it was real. Did you have a pilot or they bought the pitch? They bought the pitch and the pilot. They bought the pitch and the pilot. It was real. People like the real. People like the truth. They yeah. want the truth, you know what I mean? Who would have thunk, you know? Being helmed by me and Danny. <laughs> It was, it was, yeah. What happened? Why didn't The Butler get any nominations? It was a great film. Why do you think it didn't? I don't know. I don't know. I, I had to move on. I mean, because the minute that you, the minute, again, as I said to you earlier, the minute that you start thinking about the awards or the minute that you're thinking about trying to do something and the minute that they tell you you're supposed to get an award, I remember being on the red carpet, they saying, Oh, you're going to get the awards. You're going to get the awards. And then I was on the same red carpet. Man, uh, 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 press person said, why didn't you get any awards? I said, I didn't say I was getting the awards. You said I was getting the awards. The, you can't There's no do disappointment? I think that you, for the actors, I felt that, you know, I felt that there were some incredible performances. I thought that they, I, I was, yeah, I was sad. But, but I, I don't expect it. Uh, 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 America don't owe me nothing. Hollywood don't owe me nothing. I owe me something. You also criticized the Oscar so white controversy. Mm. What, what was your stand in that? I don't know. I think it was. I think that you take these um, headlines. I'll say a couple of words, and you put them together, and you don't look at the whole picture. My body of work speaks for itself. Um, you know, I know I'm a good man. I, so you didn't get involved in the Oscars being so white? Uh, it yeah. Didn't bo it did bother you or it mm. didn't bother you? I felt like this. I can only live, I can only tell my story. And my story, again, is that I came to Hollywood for, with $7 in my pocket off the bus, period. And, and, you know, the studios, there wasn't a studio that was messing with me. Doors were slammed in my face left and right. And if I let that consume me, uh, 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 I, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be where I'm at. I didn't think twice. I went out and made it happen myself. You think we Crook or a crook, I made a movie happen. It just so happened that the movies I was making were, were, were winning awards for people, you know? And, 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 and I didn't think that uh, Empire was going to be Empire. You know, I didn't know that, you know, that we were changing things, that, you know, that, 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 that my job was to make sure that black people and people of color, that minority people, that minorities were employed. That was my job to, to, or my mission. I, 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 was, I was there to do my work and to make sure that I had a posse with me doing the work with me. And I didn't know that Empire was going to do what it was going to do. And, and that we would be able to do, uh, you know, make uh, as many new shows of color that we have. The New York Times called your work mm -hmm. a blend of finger on the pulse, social consciousness, and histrionic soap opera. Do you agree? Histrionic soap opera. Histrionic soap opera. That's fun. Well, they're praising I'll you I'll for <laughs> finger on the pulse, social consciousness. Yeah. But at the same time, you're also telling stories. Mm -hmm that make you cry, mm -hmm. right? That make you feel like you want to go and wah, wah. Yeah. That feel like you, uh, that you want to throw up, that feel like you, um, that you're thirsty for. And uh, all I'm here to do is to make you feel. You know, I'm not a politician, I'm not a philosopher, I'm a filmmaker. And I don't pretend to be anything else. Would you ever want to do uh oh. No, I got. Would you ever uh -oh. do a thriller like Hitchcock, a western? Yeah. Oh, for sure. You know, with no message, just bad guy, good guy, shoot him up. I would do. I would do. I would do a thriller. Matter of fact, I'm thinking about doing a thriller. Maybe. Yeah. I want to do something. I haven't been scared since Rosemary's Baby or The Exorcist. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. I think that the. I don't know what it is, but nothing has, to, to the core of my being, where I'm running out the theater. My hair afire? I ain't seen no shit. I, I ain't seen nothing like... Why don't you do one? Maybe. Who would Lee Daniels trade places with for a day? We'll find out in our final segment. Plus, Lee will answer some of your social media questions. We'll be right back. Hmm. We're back with...
with Lee Daniels, one of my favorite people. We'll go to some social media questions. Ruth Gom wants to know, who was your inspiration for Star's character? Really want to know? Uh, Divine, from a character that she played in uh, John Waters' film, Female Trouble. It was, really? It was about a white chick that didn't care and was a crook, a <laughs> thief, a liar, and wanted to be a star. Your kind of girl. <laughs> At uh, Judy Gah, 56, tweets, would you direct a film about world peace or saving the planet? Yes. Do a lot of people come to you with scripts? Yes. At Avi Nuva via Facebook, what made you decide to direct as opposed to choose? Why, why direct? Hmm. I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> I, you were managing actors? You were yeah, getting jobs? Well I, well, I was also directing while I was managing actors. I had a nursing agency, too. But, uh... uh you had a nursing agency? You uh -huh. got jobs? I sold nurses. I sold nurses. I was the first uh, home health agency to take care of, under contract with APLA, AIDS Project LA. And we were in the house. I was selling nurses. I come from a family of salesmen. <laughs> so that's what I, that's, that's, that, you know, that, I use those skills. I've used those skills. But the good director is a storyteller. Correct. That's a good, yeah. Well, you know how to tell a story. Mm -hmm. Alex Townsend, what actor do you want to work with you haven't worked with? Denzel. Have you seen Fences? Mm -hmm. How good was it? I saw the play. Yeah. I think you'll enjoy it. I think yeah. you'll enjoy it quite a bit. He's also a very good friend, and he's also, uh, I, I think, someone that I look up to. That was a great play. Was a great play. Oh, yeah. August Wilson. Mm -hmm. The other heat maker asks, "What's a good map to structure a film project?" I don't What's know. What's a that... good map? Yeah. First, you have to find it uh, a, something that you connect to, something that's very personal, something that you that you understand with every fiber of your being. If you don't understand it, if you don't know it, if you haven't smelled it, if you haven't eaten it, if you haven't worn it, if you haven't if you haven't um, existed it, walk that walk, then, you, then, 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 you know. What's the secret talent you have? Secret cooking. Best piece of advice you ever got? Uh, don't expect anything from anyone. Guilty pleasure. <laughs> what do you like? Candy? Butter pecan ice cream. Butter pecan ice cream. Uh, Is there a story you're still dying to tell? Um... Is, this, is, is, there, is there a story I'm still dying to tell? Yes. Yes. The Bayard Rustin story. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was an incredible because man. Because that man right there made me... That he was able to do what he's able to do, it makes me... It makes, it makes all of my problems seem small. He's kind of been forgotten, hasn't he? He's a forgotten hero that is my hero. And uh, that's Boy, the story I'd like to tell. That name resonates with me. Mm. Who would you trade places with for a day? President Obama. When do you feel the most free? When I'm directing. Something you wish you were better at? Math. Math? Mm -hmm. Do you need math? I don't know. Just, <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> what do we all need to be paying more attention to? Trump. What's the biggest risk you've ever taken? Coming to Hollywood with seven dollars in my pocket. Well, you never forget that. I came to Miami with eleven dollars. Did you? Break into radio. Yeah. Who would you love to have do a cameo on one of your shows? Who would I love to do a cameo on one of my shows? Paula Kelly. Something you long to believe to be true and then realize wasn't. Something that I long to believe to be true and then I realized wasn't. Uh, racism. Tell me something people don't know about you. Uh, that my first love is my family and that my first love is my kids and that, uh, and that I love teaching. I have, you know, David O. Russell and I work uh, on this uh, 
we were part of the finding of this school, the Ghetto Film School in uh, the Bronx, now it's out in Hollywood. And, uh, and uh, I love teaching. The Ghetto Film School? Mm -hmm. with I, love te mm, I, I love teaching. Always great seeing Good you, Good to Lee. see you too. You're my man. Yeah, man. Big thanks to my guest, Lee Daniels. Star airs Wednesdays at 9 p.m., 8 central. And Empire returns for a new season this spring. And as always, you can find me on Twitter at Kings Things. And I'll see you next time.